Hello and welcome back to episode 39 of Unknown to World Known, where we are back as Queen's Park Rangers for the first time. And we're going to be playing Cardiff and Portsmouth today. Uh, it's also going to be New Year's Day when this releases, so I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve and hopefully we have a better 2021 than we did 2020 because it can't get much worse, right? And for the lineup today, we're going with Kelly in goal because the main keeper's got a injury. Boucle at right back, Massor, Bosma, and Barber as a back four. Amos and Casata as the holding midfielders with Coyle, Chair, and Willock as a three behind the striker in Dane Scarlett. And you can see our bench there as well. So hopefully we can get off to a good winning start as Queen's Park Rangers manager and let's see how this goes and instantly Luke Amos has got a bruise shin but you know what he's going to have to tough it out as he picks the ball up and looks for Scarlett who hits the post seven minutes into our debut at Queen's Park Rangers we're very close to taking the lead we're going to ignore that he's fine it's a bruise shin, get over it. So we nearly had a very, very bright start there. So as we join, we're, what's that, 12 points away from the playoffs if we draw this game and everything else stays as it is. So I think we're in a decent position as Scarlet tries to get shot away, but it's blocked and it falls to Amos, Casata, Chair, Willock, Scarlet again. Erdogan is a corner, so we are on top so far in this game we've got the corner coming in from chair it's whipped in towards the near post and headed away by paul but Massor picks up and that's the end of the highlight so far it's been a very bright start casata finds chair and a bit of a mistake there allowing cardiff a chance to come forward they're coming down the right hand side al tamari Skips past the tackle and gets the cross in. And Virtue heads it straight at Kelly. And now he's got a chance to try and find a man. Finds Chair who heads it onto Coyle. And Coyle sends it just wide. Chair should not have been winning that header. I'm also going to have to get around the fact that his name's Chair. That's a ridiculous name. What's his full name Ilias maybe we'll just call him Ilias that sounds a bit less silly than chair and a ball in to Glatzel has put Cardiff 1-0 up and that is not what we wanted right before half time Paul and for himself Longstaff puts the cross in and Cardiff go 1-0 up we're going to try and bounce back Straight away before we can even get to half time, as Casata finds chair and Scarlet goes back to Amos. And we're going to try and build from the back again as Coyle looks for Scarlet over the top, but it's cleared away again. It's picked up by the right back, Casata now, Amos, and we're trying to build a way through again. Coyle finds Scarlet, who Blasts it under the keeper and puts us back to 1-1 just before half-time in the final seconds of the half. And that's a very nice response. Would have preferred to not be 1-0 down at all. But if you respond like that, you can't complain too much with a very nice finish there. And surely now this is going to be half-time. As Robinson picks up the ball for Cardiff. Chair picks the pocket and plays the ball to Scarlett, who's actually on a break here. Ball falls back to Coyle, who plays it back into Scarlett. And all of a sudden, we're 2-1 up before half-time. That was an incredibly quick end to the first half, with three goals in... Three goals in four minutes. Phenomenal end to the half, really. And we come in 2-1 up at half-time. 
We're going to tell them not to get complacent. And we are also going to tell uh, Scarlet and Chair that we're happy with their performances because they were demotivated. We don't want that from our striker and attacking midfielder. Bosma is struggling with a poor groin, so I think we are going to make that change. For Jens Stage, who can come on? Does he prefer to play on a certain side? No side preference there. And what about Masaur? No side preference. So we'll just go ahead with that change. And now we've got throw in, which we're going to launch towards Corbett's head of the way by Rowles. Amos picks it up deep and finds Casata. And Fuqueer going to play it to Coyle and needs to get across in here and he does. And it's headed down to Scarlet who just controls the ball, makes a turn, puts it in the bottom corner. He's got a hat trick on his on my debut, I should say, not his debut. 13 goals this season for him. And hopefully... That is a sign of things to come. Casata with a very nice header down to him. And he just manages to wait for the space to create itself. And put it into that bottom corner. And what we're going to look to do now is bring Casata off because he's starting to struggle. I think we'll bring Ben Pearson on and then play him in the deep line playmaker role. And Amos in the Mazala role. And... They're recommending we bring Amos off. It's just a, it's a bruised shin. Get over it. We're going to bring Chair off because he's looking quite tired. And McKinney can come in there. Playing the attacking midfielder role. And I think we should be able to see this game out now. We're going to drop back to cautious and just tell them to focus. As we get a free kick here with Coyle. And he... Oh, hits the post. So unlucky there for Coyle. Nearly putting his 4-1 up. But it looks like that's going to be about it, hopefully. As Barbet heads off to Willock on the left-hand side. Who gets tackled and there's a bit of a tussle there. But he comes away with it and... Plays it back to Pearson who finds Coyle. Willock's making his way back over to the left. Ball through for Scarlett. And it's 4-1. And Scarlett is a bit of a goal scorer from the looks of it. He only had 10 goals going into this game. He's added an extra four. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. And it's just the system he was in previously wasn't as good as the one that we're going to come in and play with him. 4-1 win to start our career at Queen's Park Rangers and we're going to tell him that we're delighted with that performance. Okay, so first game in charge, 4-1 win. We, I think we climbed the table a little bit. I think we climbed above Hull and oh, they've got a game in hand, but nevertheless... We'll be back in a moment with the game against Portsmouth, who are currently sat in 7th, so that's going to be a bit of a test for us. Okay, so following a deep, good, very good first performance, we're going to go with a unchanged 11 bar 1, as Pearson comes in for Amos. Pearson's been really, had a really good week in training, so we're going to reward that with giving him a game. We've te removed him from the transfer list as well. Also, Jaskalainen in goal for Portsmouth. I assume that is actual Jaskalainen's son, I would imagine, which is quite nice to see. He was one of my favourite goalkeepers when I was younger. His dad, not him. Um, I don't didn't know he existed until that clip. But yeah, he was back in the day when he was at, um, back at Bolton. Don't know what it was about him. I just really liked him. I thought he was a great shot stopper as we open the game. Casata and Falqueer. Falqueer goes down in the box, but it's not a penalty. And it's booted up field. Pearson is going to collect that and play it across to Bosma, who finds Casata. And we're starting to build 
from the back again as Coyle plays it through for Chair, and it's 1 0 within 10 minutes against Portsmouth, who they're up in seventh. However, it did say in the press conference they are overachieving. I don't know where they were predicted, but a very nice start there. Chair blasting it into that bottom left corner, and a fantastic start for us. And we're going to encourage them on the back of that. So as it stands, they could drop down as far as ninth. I don't know how Reading are doing, so possibly further as Mawson hedged just wide for them. Was Alfie Mawson? It is as well. He was from uh, really big in Kev, Kev's channel, um, Lelujo, as you may know. Yeah, he was a big player in his series. Uh, was it Bastia the year before? I'm not sure. Um, we're going to tell them not to get complacent. And we're going to tell Chair. Um, very happy with his performance so far. And then let's get it back out for the second half. And now we've got 45 minutes to try and hold on to this result. And we're going to just tell them, just encourage them again. And we're going to look at making a change here. Looking at the team, Coyle is going to come off for Manuel just because he's one of the more tired players. And then now we're going to make another change. I don't like to make all my changes in one go. I like to split them up a bit. Amos is going to come off for Pearson, who I think has done a decent job today, but he wasn't very match fit because of the fact that he's been transfer listed and they've just not been using him. Amos does well to dispossess his man as soon as he comes on the pitch. And now Chair plays it back to Amos, who finds Casata. And they're just playing it between them now. And sends it out to Victor Manuel, who plays it off to Falqueer and a poor cross on the end of it. But Amos collects it and we remain in control of the ball as we work it back down to Falquir again. And this time a much better ball in and Willock nearly got on the end of that and it's cleared to Tween. And now he's going to try and break coming towards our left hand side. Casata does well to deal with that and we're going to make our final change now. And we're looking at Bosma. He's not having a great game. So we're going to bring Stage on for him. And we're going to drop back to Cautious. Tell them to focus and just try and see out this last five minutes or so of this game. They've sent Mawson up front now. Okay. They've sent the centre back up front. They're clearly going to try and uh, bully us in through this game from the looks of it then and the ball forward goes nowhere near him luckily and it's cleared to chair who's now got Scarlet with him a ball through to Scarlet who went for the chip and Yaskalainen with a fantastic save but that should see us through and it does two wins to start our career at Queen's Park Rangers so I think what we'll do now is have a quick look at the table we're still 15th but we're closing that gap already and we were 12 points off going into the Cardiff game and already we're 7 points away from the playoff spots you never know, the most important thing for us is getting into that top half if we can challenge for the playoffs that would be quite nice this year. Okay so I think what we'll do uh, now is we'll skip through a little bit until the end of the transfer window I've noticed we've got Bristol in the FA Cup coming up here. I think we'll play that. If we are in the fifth round, we'll come back for the fifth round. I'm hoping it'll fall somewhere around this Fulham game so we can fit in a game against our rivals. But we'll come back for either Fulham or the fifth round, hopefully both in the same episode, as we leave currently in 15th place. If you have enjoyed that please do leave a like comment down below how you think we're going to get on as qpr and subscribe as well if you are enjoying the series thank you very much for watching